My name is uh, Ali Zaidi. I'm the System Director for Adult Congenital Heart Disease um, here at Mount Sinai Heart. Um, I'm also an Associate Professor of Medicine um, and Pediatrics at the Icon School of Medicine. So congenital heart disease um, basically means that children are born with a heart condition. So, you know, first day of life that they're born, they, there, there, there is a, there's a, there, there's a congenital heart problem, which means you're born with it. Now, the different forms of congenital heart disease, it can be something very simple. And you might have heard about this, something what's called simply a hole in the heart. And that's called an atrial septal defect or a ventricular septal defect. These are simple lesions. You might have heard of a bicuspid aortic valve. Um, but then there are fairly more complex congenital heart conditions, um, including what's called tetralogy of Fallot um, or transposition of the great vessels. And sometimes they are very complex, including what we call single ventricles um, who undergo what's called a Fontan palliation. So many, many different different uh, types of congenital heart defects. What happens with congenital heart disease is these babies are born um, with a heart problem. I mean, as I said, it could be something very simple like a hole in the heart or something fairly complex. Based on what the congenital heart defect is, um, these children sometimes need um, interventions. They could be catheterizations or they could be uh, often um, open heart procedures. Based on what the congenital heart defect is, these children are then given treatment. And then as the child grows and they get gets older, they get into teenage years and then they, get, become, they become adults. And based on the success of, um, of where the field has come over the last maybe 30 years or so, almost 90 to 95% of these children who are born with congenital heart disease now survive into adults. So that's very, very important to understand is that the treatments that we can now give um, have tremendous success. Um, and these children can now grow up and, um, and, and lead adult lives. And that's a very important question is when should a child um, or an adolescent with congenital heart disease see an adult congenital cardiologist? So I'm going to explain that in two ways. One is that it is very important to understand that children and adolescents who are born with congenital heart disease should seek appropriate care. And what that means is they should seek adult congenital care, which means uh, cardiologists or adult cardiologists or pediatric cardiologists who are trained in adult congenital heart disease. It is very, very important to stay in care and stay in appropriate care. And that's very important to understand. Now, the, the, the second part of this is when should that sort of transition of care happen? And this is, this is a fantastic question. It's very important because speaking as both a, a pediatric cardiologist and as an adult cardiologist, um, I'm going to wear my pediatric cardiology hat on, and let me explain why this is important, is that transition is a process, which means that when children become adolescents, somewhere in the adolescent years, the teenage years, the, the concept of moving into adult cardiology or adult congenital care when you become an adult should be introduced to the, to, to, to the adolescent and to the family, and that's a process of transition. Transition is not the same as transferring care, which means we're not saying that when you're 12, 13, 14, you should go move into adult congenital care. It's a process. And sometimes it takes several years for, um, for, for the adolescent with congenital heart disease and their families to ready themselves um, for the actual transfer of care that when, when that happens. Now, the transfer of care is very important to understand is that when should these adolescents who then become adults move their care from pediatric cardiology to adult congenital care? And that's a great question because we prefer this to be somewhere between 18 to 21 years of age. There's no sort of hard cutoff, but we would prefer that to happen. And again, that's not universal. That's not across the world. We would prefer that. And the reason we say that is that somewhere when you're over 21, you're now sort of moving into the world of uh, adult medicine, not necessarily adult cardiology, but adult medicine. Uh, so there are two things to understand. One is transition, which is a process that should start somewhere in the adolescent years. And then the process of transferring of care, which I think is again important, but that should be sort of more towards, um, you know, when you're a young adult. 
again, it's it is a fantastic question because care for adult congenital patients um, encompasses often not just care from a cardiology standpoint. You absolutely need adult congenital care, which means a specialist. When sometimes these patients go many years without requiring any sort of interventions, no catheterizations, no repeat operations, and sometimes they need a catheterization, and sometimes they need operations, and that um, uh, can 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 happen. So, so, so that's important to understand. But care for adult congenital heart disease uh, patients is not just exclusive to cardiology, and I and 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 that's an important concept to understand. Is that sometimes it's multidisciplinary, which means some of our patients require liver or kidney or lung care, and we then have to involve other disciplines if need be. Sometimes many years go by and nothing's needed. The other part of care in adult congenital heart disease is also to understand that these young patients are now growing up and they have their lives. They're looking for jobs, they're working, they're married, they have their families. And these young women in their 20s and 30s, in their 40s as well, now want to have children. So they were born with congenital heart disease. They may or may not have had operations through their life, but now they want to have families. So that brings in the realm of high-risk pregnancy and maternal fetal medicine. Um, and that again becomes multidisciplinary. So care in adult congenital heart disease is, is, not, is not just one facet. It is in essence multifaceted. Uh, which is why we at Sinai have a very comprehensive ACHD or adult congenital heart disease uh, program or center that provides this multidisciplinary care. So we always encourage our patients with, uh, who are young patients, again, who grew up with congenital heart disease to have as normal a life as they can. So when I see patients who are in their 20s and 30s and they have congenital heart disease, I encourage them to have a normal, as normal life. as So I'll encourage them to go out and play and, and, and go to restaurants and, and you know, have fun and with, within measure. Um, and as I, as I just said, I encourage young women uh, within, uh, within appropriate uh, care, care um, to have their families. So life is no different or should be no different than what it is for somebody with no congenital heart disease. So we encourage that, um, that we want these young patients to go out there and live full lives um, and have fun. And we will be there when they need us to sort of take them through um, the next step in their lives. So our adult congenital heart disease uh, uh, program and center here um, at Mount Sinai is comprehensive and, and it is comprehensive in many measure, measures. Um, we've been accredited through the Adult Congenital Heart Association, which basically means we're, we're providing comprehensive multidisciplinary care. It's one of the few programs in New York that is nationally accredited by the ACHA. Um, what does that mean? What that means is we offer all facets of care. So it's both dedicated uh, cardiology care, it's dedicated cardiothoracic surgical care when these patients need operations, um, congenital interventions um, that we provide uh, with state-of-the-art facilities, state-of-the-art interventions, excellent outcomes, um, and then multidisciplinary care, as I said. So not just in, in the realm of adult congenital heart disease, but we bring in multidisciplinary care when, it, when we need to, i.e. when we need to bring in sometimes transplant physicians when you talk about transplants, or as I mentioned, pregnancy and high risk pregnancy and maternal fetal medicine specialists. Um, we will bring in um, sometimes liver doctors or kidney doctors when we need to. Um, there is our program provides pulmonary hypertension support, which is a tremendous and, and important part of adult congenital heart disease. Cross-sectional imaging and dedicated uh, imaging of the heart from a congenital standpoint with state-of-the-art facilities and state-of-the-art outcomes is something we provide here. So it is complete, comprehensive, uh, what I call 360-degree care um, that we provide for our adult congenital heart disease patients. So the most important things to know about adult congenital heart disease um, are the following. I always tell young patients in their adolescent and young years um, and their families that you, as you grow up with congenital heart disease, find the right provider, find the right adult congenital heart disease program or, or cardiologist and stay in care. Do not fall out of care because often I see young patients who are in their 20s and 30s. And again, they're not going to be 
they're not going to be unwell every day of their life, but they do need to be followed. So stay in care. That is very, very important. And stay in appropriate care, which means find the right adult congenital heart disease program or center um, or physician, and then and, and make sure you stay in care. That's number one. Number two, make sure that you follow up with whoever your physician's um, instructions are. Um, make sure you stay in contact with them. Um, because what we want for our young patients is for them to have full lives till they're 80 years old or 90 years old. So we've got a whole life spectrum ahead. I always tell patients that, and their families is that congenital heart disease you were born with, you know, but my job or our job is to take you to when you're 80, 90 years old. So you've got the, the major journey of your life is ahead of you. So, so, so absolutely staying in care is a must.